Um, so they came down, and then you know, well, we had everything ready, you know, ready. So I went home and met up with the girl. You don't need to know that part. <laughs> uh, so anyways, Dreamwave calls me and says, "Hey, we're done." So I had to climb off the girl, and I ran down there and I picked him up and I took him back to my store. And I got them to sign like every Dreamwave comic I had, and in exchange. I gave them some Transformers I had, you know, at the store, and they were looking around like, oh my gosh, you have, you know, like the Pretender, Beast, guys, I forgot, what were they, not the Predacons, but it was like some uh, Pretender that Transformers that, I'll have to do some research on that, and if I can get a picture, I'll put it in here. But they had, um, they got that, and then they like, so they walked out with like a few hundred dollars worth of Transformers. No, it wasn't even a hundred dollars worth of Transformers. But the comics they signed, I sold for like well over a grand. So, you know, I just did trade and I made out like a bandit with that stuff. And, um, anyways, uh, so back to the story here. We've got Brigade number zero, which I thought was a really good story when I was a kid. Uh, Bloodstrike number 25 uh, was different. I think that's when this is Battlestone from Bloodstrike. No, Cabot. Anyways, Bloodstrike and Battle Bloodstone and Battlestrike, or Bloodstrike were like a set of brothers that were going through some like project written genesis program or something. So this is where it went from a team book to a single issue, a single guy's book. Here we have the top cow swimsuit that I was talking about earlier. Uh, Bad Rock Wolverine one shot. Uh, picked up some Astro City comics because of Alex Ross and Kurt Busiek. These are good stories and I just love the covers because Alex Ross is just amazing. Uh, the Art of Homage, I've had, I've, I kid you not, I've, this is literally the third time I've owned this book. Uh, because there's lots of good stuff up in there. It's, you know, it's just some pinups and some one-shots and some drawings and some stuff for the early Wildstorm days. They were just really awesome. Uh, Exo Manowar, I picked up a couple issues of those. Um, don't know why I did that other than their Exo. Okay. Uh, Valiant Reader, which I think was a, went along with the... Uh, Valiant Vision, and these were cool because these will work with any comic, pretty much any printed picture. It makes the reds pop out and it recedes the, the blues and the stuff. And I actually experimented this with some drawings back when I used to draw, because I would do the same thing so that when you did put the Valiant Vision glasses on, it would really make them jump out. And that was just something that I really just, you know, kept in the back of my mind when I did it. It's really interesting looking back at my printed artwork, it's like, wow, yeah, that I did that. Um, which, you know, once you do a few couple, it's kind of easy. Uh, Unity number zero. Uh, Turok Dinosaur Hunter, numbers one and two. And I don't think he had three, so that's why I stopped at number two. Shaman's Tears, I had this when I was a kid. Uh, I didn't really particularly care for the story, but it was, you know, uh, it was an image number one, so that's why I bought that one. Uh, Stormwatch number one and three. Is there another one in there? Stormwatch number five, Stormwatch two. What do we got here? Okay. So Stormwatch, I really enjoyed. This was actually my favorite Wildstorm character for a few months. Canon right here. So number twenty-five takes place in the future. I remember they shipped this one like you know ten months or fifteen months early or something. That was their thing. The Wildstorm did number twenty-five. And the interesting part of this was, and you know, some stories when they did the future stories, like Days of Future Past stands out particularly, was by the time the comics cut up to where it was, it was nothing like the comic that like, should have been. But with Stormwatch 25, you know, they shipped this one out, you know, I forget how many months early, two years, three years early. Two years, I think. Um, by the time the rest of those comics came up to this one, this one fit in perfect, which I always thought was a... You know, really good storytelling that they would had that in mind. So when it came to it, it was like boom, almost that this this was the logical next issue. Uh, Shadowhawks of Legend uh, is a one shot that I picked up. Again, I think there might have been some issue, uh, some images in here from the images of Shadowhawks online. Shadowhawk number two, uh, Young Blood number one, first printing. Again, Young Blood was my first image comics I got. And uh, this is actually the away team, and then if you flip it over, it's the home team, okay? Which the away team eventually became 
the backup stories on this, I think only made like two issues before they started doing like a, some villains for like Supreme and Shadowhawk or something like that. And then it te became Team Young Blood. All right, Union number one I bought was because I had it when I was a kid in the Union. Uh, Mark Texier start art is amazing. Back then, I didn't appreciate it so much, but it was so good. And the story, you know, was just amazing. And I love that, the story. Uh, Union number two I got, because it's you know, number two, and it, you can kind of see it's that puzzle. Again, I'm going to stop here for a few minutes while I get that puzzle uh, image inserted. Okay, Shadow Hunt number one. Uh, Trencher number one, which I can't remember the guy who did this one, but... Uh, he did like the images of Shadowhawk storyline, and this guy, I mean, whoever his inker is, you know, this guy probably drove him insane, because look at the detail, it makes no sense, and if you ever just look at him, it's just like, oh my god, Keith Griffin, I think, or Griffin Keith, or something, I don't remember, but my god, I mean, whoever did his inks was probably just ready to choke him out, because there's just pencil lines everywhere. And then I did the tribe number one. Uh, and I remember when this one, also with the Shaman's Tears, what had happened was Image let all these other people make their stories, right? Well, then what happened was they started buying these other comics instead of like the, the you know, the Spawns and the Youngbloods and the Wildstorm stuff. So then the, the founders of Image said, you know what, you know, we're not going to let you guys, you know, make your stuff on us anymore because it's, you know, it's creating competition from us. And like, I really thought that was shitty because it's like you guys founded the principle of the Image Comics on the fact that the big companies, you know, didn't give a lot of control. And now you know, you're helping other artists make good stories. And now when their stuff's picking up, you just want to cancel it. It's like, wait, that's not cool. Um, Shaman's Tears, I think they only made it to issue two, maybe three. Uh, Johnson, or Johnson and Strowman's Tribe only made the one issue and then it went to another company. And I think they just did the full story, which is, I, I thought was really good. And, uh, so I enjoyed that. So that's going to bring this one to an end. And golly, this video is probably an insanely huge file and long, so it's going to take me a while to uh, get all this with everything I did on here. Uh, so I'm going to try to make it good. If I have to break it up into 10-minute parts, I may have to do that as well. So this is uh, the Saturday's video, and um, I have no idea what's next. Uh, I've still got cards. I've got to start scanning those in. Probably not going to do today because the rest of the day is going to be ate up with editing this video, but I do need to get that on there. Plus, I'm redoing my website as well, and so that's taking its time up. So I'm trying to do at least a day of page on that one. So I'll go ahead and wrap this up, and we'll call it good. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.